Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna talk about the MCU right now. The MCU just released a new uh, teaser trailer about their upcoming TV shows, mainly the Marvel, mainly the Marvel television section of things. And I have to say that they look pretty. They look pretty all right. They look pretty good. I'm excited for a few of them actually. Like, like of course I'm gonna be excited for Daredevil. Of course, I'm gonna be excited for Spider-Man Freshman Year because I love because Daredevil was such a good Netflix show, and Spider-Man Freshman Year. I'm a Spider-Man fan. Obviously, I'm gonna watch anything related to Spider-Man, even Spidey and Friends, which is the kids show on Disney Plus. I will say I I I will say that I am not excited for Marvel Zombies or What If Season Three. I'm not really excited about those because, um. I feel like with season three, they dropped the ball of everything being connected, and f instead of every episode being an, an anthology episode, the whole season one was connected. That's fine, but then they did, but then they did it again with season two, and I'm not excited for season three after that point. And I'm not excited for Marvel Zombies mainly because they announced it like four years ago, and my anticipation level has skyrocketed. Well, I mean, opposite actually, it has sunk, and it will, it will probably won't be come. My anticipation for Mobile Zombies will probably not come back, because the animation is the same animation style as What If Season Two, or Season Three. But I will say that I was not looking forward to the Eyes of Wakanda, but after seeing the cool animation that they have for that show, having like a pastel like, pastel like paste type of animation and color color I will say that the animation looks a little intriguing and that does give me a little interest in the show because I am a sucker for different styles of animation I will um they do have a teaser f or like a little a few clips of Wonder Man and I know in the comics Wonder Man is like this like cosmic powerful entity well not really an entity but uh, a superhero and uh, we only get clips of the human side of Wonder Man, so I'm really interested on what the, on what the super, on what the super fantastical side is gonna look like because we have to remember this is TV, so they might have a lower budget. We don't know what the budget for these shows are yet, even though we know what that Disney does like to put movie budget, budget movie budget monies in TV shows, and I wanted. To, I wanted to say that there are clips of Daredevil Born Again, which I will be watching on day one. I have to go back and rewatch the other show because I've only seen season one, but I have to catch up on season two, three, because I hear those are amazing. Don't ask me why I didn't watch all the whole show. One day I just stopped randomly, I'm not sure why, but I do know I have to go back and rewatch season one and watch season two and three to its entirety so I can be ready for Born Again. But I do love oh, what they did with the costume. I can't wait for the Punisher to be back and all the scenes with him and Daredevil. I do want to talk about Spider-Man Freshman Year. The animation to me doesn't appeal and it looks more like the 2D animated Spider-Man animated series show from the 2000s. That's what it reminds me of, but in the worst way because the backgrounds look kind of lifeless and they just look like a Gmod, a Gmod render map. But I wanted to talk about, um, okay, well, hold on, I forgot about Iron Haunt. Iron Haunt, um, I'm not really sure if I'm looking forward to it, but the CGI on the Iron Haunt armor looks great and brings back all the Tony Stark. Iron Man vibes from the earlier movies when the CGI was up like at its best and that's what Iron Halt is giving from the looks of it and I can't wait for that I'm excited to for I, I mainly I mainly just want to watch her fly in the suit and do cool Iron Man stuff but I want to talk about Blade because Blade even though I, I was just talking about the TV stuff let's go back to the movie stuff I don't know what's going on with Blade. Blade is cursed, as cursed as The Flash, as cursed as Snyder's Justice League, his original Justice League. I don't know what's going on with this movie. 
And a lot of people are asking themselves that, what is going on with this movie? Because it was announced, surprisingly, it was announced way back in 2019. And here we are, five years later, and we still have no Blade. By this point, we should have had Blade 2. But it's crazy that that Mashali Ali won an Oscar in 2019 for The Green Book. And we, he has not been in another movie since. Up until next year, will he will when he'll be in Jurassic, in the new Jurassic World movie, Jurassic World Rebirth. And uh, I mean, it's great that the guy is finding work again, and it sucks that he hasn't gotten to play Blade yet. I would not be surprised if he, if he ultimately backs down from the role and they give the role to someone else. I would want to see him as Blade. But if we don't, then I hope whoever they cast next would would do a great job as well. But hopefully, um, Mashali Ali sticks to being Blade. I don't know when they want this movie to release. I'm thinking 2027 or 2028. But it has to be somewhere after Secret Wars. Because there's no way they can set Blade up. There's no way they can bl set Blade up before Secret Wars. And then... Uh, not have a movie until after the universe is reset. I feel like the best at this point, Kevin Feige is trying to wrap the multiverse story up and tie a ribbon on it. So I think at this point, the smallest move is to push Blade after Secret Wars, after the whole universe is reset and merged, and finally to introduce more fantastical dark witchy entities like blade um the midnight suns ghost rider more like horror aspects in marvel and i mean that's what agatha all along seems to be trying to like introduce but i would like to see midnight suns and all of that but other than that guys i just wanted to talk about this little this little um, look ahead clip from Marvel and I wanted to share uh, slight thoughts on my um, on the Blade movie because it has been it was revealed last week that the Blade movie was delayed indefinitely so, so more than more, more than likely we're not getting that movie until after Secret Wars which hey if that's what if that's the route we have to go to then most likely hopefully it'll be worth it but other than that, guys, thank you for listening. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.